Today, I'd like to ask you the question, does art matter? Emphatically, I say yes. Art matters in so many ways, but so many of us artists feel that creating art is a complete waste of time and resources. We have so many internal objections which halt our progress as an artist, such as art doesn't save lives like doctors and nurses do, it doesn't build any bridges like an engineer does, it doesn't educate the next generation like teachers do, it doesn't solve disputes like lawyers do, it doesn't fix leaky toilets like plumbers do, it doesn't solve riddles like philosophers do, or grow food to feed a nation like farmers do. This can cause us artists to feel personally less than other professions. Not to mention that no one sees our art except a few friends and our lovely family. No one seems to care. We ask ourselves, what good does art do? I mean, shouldn't we be spending our time doing something more helpful? There are plenty of people out there who make us think that art is a waste of time. I mean, schools regularly cut their art budget. People say arts and crafts are for children and grandmas. And some say art just doesn't have any value. People say gallery art is way overpriced, yet those same people will drop big money on sports tickets, concert tickets, or cars or shoes or purses. Of course, I don't really think art is a waste of time, but when I'm in a bad mood or feeling like my art isn't turning out like I want it to, I can get overcome by this stupid thought. Most artists will say they make art because they can't help but make art, that they were born to create art, and they woke up with a crayon in their hand. I know that is true for me. I don't think it's any different than other people who are driven to do what they are internally wired to do. Then why is it that we often devalue art and the time spent to create it? I think it's because we think we should be doing something else other than art. We have forgotten what art does for our heart and soul, for our life, for our neighbor's life, for our community, for our nation, and for our world. Before giving my list of how art affects us, I want to say that your art matters. Not just anyone's art, your art. Why? Because Art requires a bit of your own soul. Art is a reflection of an artist's soul. It's your beliefs, your creed, your imagination, your emotions, your sorting of the world and events and experiences. Art requires one to put one's self into it. Subjects like math and science do not. This makes your role as an artist a valuable one. You have a voice. There is only one you. What you have to say through your art matters. We need to see the world how you see it. We need to feel elation, happiness, surprise, puzzlement, and sorrow through your eyes, for it will help us sort life out. But wait, you say, I have no idea why I make art. I just like to do it. My art isn't even that great. I don't even know what to make half the time or why it matters. I just do it because it's fun. Well, maybe you are at the beginning of your art journey and maybe you're somewhere in the middle. That doesn't really matter. You still have a voice. You create because there is a divine calling on your life to bring forth beauty and a message that only you can give. It doesn't matter if only you see it if it encourages you and gives you hope. 
And if you show it to someone else, your story and art can help them too. Maybe you say that people don't get your art. There is no message. I mean, you just sit down and make something. You weren't thinking about anything deeper than that. In that case, I would say your art is for entertainment purposes. Like if you sit down to play a song on the piano, it doesn't have to have any grand melody. You just do it for fun. That's a valid reason. Well, what if your art never goes anywhere but the walls of your own home? Can you relate? Is that a waste of time? Well, even some of the most famous artists like Van Gogh and Vermeer, they were in the same boat. They only became well-known, beloved, and famous after they were dead. But did that stop them from creating art? No, they created because they wanted to. They saw beauty and they wanted to dwell on what is good. Thinking on good things and beautiful things is always a good use of your time. Before I talk about the pros of why art matters, we must imagine what life would be without any art. Well, Plato imagined a republic or an ideal world in which there is no art. The walls were bare of paintings. There were no beautifying designs to gaze upon to lift the soul. Plato felt art was too worldly and didn't serve any noble purpose. It's a good thing his student Aristotle believed the opposite. Aristotle knew art is a representation of what people see around them, the reality, and that copying this is a good thing. It can teach us moral lessons about life. Not only that, but he knew that a world devoid of design and color, for color is a part of art, would be dull and lifeless uninspiring and hopeless. Would you really want to live in a world colored in shades of gray? With a dying sun whose dim rays hang sleep over us from dawn to dusk? Not me. So let's get to the reasons why art matters. Art matters because it does a lot of good and it has value and purpose. Okay, here goes. It sprinkles our life with beauty and happiness. It gives hope and encouragement. It helps us process life's ups and downs. It gives voice to our emotions. It heals the broken parts of us as we create. It is your eyes. It shows the world your perspective, which may have been easily overlooked. It opens others up to finding beauty in unusual things. It tells a story. It inspires people to dream. It decorates our life and it symbolizes who we are and what we care about. It gives importance to the little things. It's relational. It gives and gives and gives. It makes us think. It sets hearts on fire. It leads the way, psychologically, politically, narratively speaking. In other words, Art gives you a voice to share your message with the world. I think art, whether painting, writing, music, or dance, is actually one of the most important aspects of life 